what I was doing, you know, on my own eight years ago before anyone knew that I existed. That's that's number one. So we're colleagues. Number two, um, the, the the shape of the of the travel world and the food world is changing. I mean, they've merged into one. I've always been a food guy, but I've always traveled my whole life, and I've had my the greatest pleasures of my life have been while traveling. And I always my as long as I've been an adult, I've wanted to tell stories from the road about food. I have always found that no knock against the Taj Mahal or the Eiffel Tower, but I learned very little looking at those. And and I'm an, I have I'm like a credit away from my masters in art history. I want to be an art history teacher. So I have a keen appreciation for these types of things. But I, I've said this a lot, and I know I'm preaching the converted in a sense, but I learned more going to a, a jungle market in Thailand to learn more about Thai culture than doing anything else. I meet real people, I get to engage with them, I get to talk with them, and the stuff that we do in our show, 90% of it is not some pre-planned, pre-connected, cameras are rolling, let's get Andrew into the scene. It's just me with a loose bunch of structure around it, finding people to hang out with and do stuff with. So I engage really well with folks on the road, and that has been the greatest pleasure in my life. And I think that we all want to do that, and we all are trying to tell people about what that's like, whether our area of expertise is southern India or um, Soho. It, it really doesn't matter. I was talking um, with somebody earlier this evening, I've met a lot of you, so forgive me, I, I don't remember your name, but um, she, does, um, she does a show um, about um, finding stuff in your own backyard, and I'm really, really passionate about that. Um, I don't think you have to travel to the ends of the earth to, to experience traveling life, because you can get all those things that you were talking about just outside your own backyard. Um, and I want to more with you guys and tell my community about the stuff that you're doing because my, it's selfish, my community, the people who are, who are logging on and checking out my content want to know what other content I'm investigating and I'm investigating your guys' content all the time. So thank you. Thank you for providing a lot of inspiration. Um, lastly, I thought that I would just share for 90 seconds about some of the things that I've got going on recently. And I only say this because I know that there's 20 different levels of, of, of work stories here in this room from people who, are, who have just constructed their own site and are just getting started in this sort of thing, um, to folks who, who blog about, about travel for some of the, the biggest media companies in the country, in the world. And, uh, and I find that really thrilling. It's a very democratic notion that we're all, I mean, the internet has done that to us. It's, it's democratized our world. Um, you know, I do the show, Bizarre Foods. Um, it's really cool. We're going into what I consider our fifth season. Um, I've made about 90 shows. We have another 15 to go in the season that we're currently shooting. Right now, that's a lot of one hour content in a lot of really cool places. Um, I have uh, two different web series, Bizarre Foods in the Kitchen on TravelChannel.com, and I also have Appetite for Life uh, on MSN.com. Both are really cool, very different experiences. One, I'm cooking foods I discover on the road. In the other one, I'm bumming around in a car around the United States of America, trying to have the same experiences I have in rural Africa in my backyard here in the United States. Um, if anyone has suggestions for Baltimore and Philly, let me know. I'm shooting in a couple of weeks. Um, I, uh, I have a whole bunch of books that are coming out. My paperback just dropped uh, for Bizarre Truth. The young adult version comes out in the spring. I have a board game that just came out called Bizarre <laughs> that we're actually going to get to play. I will tell you, this is how seriously I take this group. This game is not available yet. I think it will be by the Christmas season. That copy of it right there correct me, is the very first copy of this game ever made. They FedEx this from China because we had to, internally, my team and I had decided we wanted this play, everyone to see this first. And I don't say that as like, please tell people about it, although that would be nice. Um, I, I said it because I thought it was a really cool thing to show everyone. Like, the the way to like spread your brand is insane. Oh yeah, there's... Everybody gets a sample, some sample cards. Yeah, we have... That nobody else in the world has right yeah, now. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff for everyone that no one else has. So for, 
for those of you who have friends who left early, who said, oh, this is just going to be another one of those boring sort of things, in the remainder of the time that we have left, we have some really cool stuff for you guys. Um, no one else has seen this stuff. No one else knows the game really exists. It's totally awesome that we get to unveil it here. The same people who made this are making uh, the Saturday Night Live game and are one of the leading game companies in the country. It's, it's going to be a big, hopefully a big game. It's a lot of fun to play. So everyone gets this. Yeah. I, I think, is it true that everyone gets a bobblehead doll? Everyone gets a real Amazon bobblehead doll? <laughs> kind of fun for the desk, kind of creepy. Uh, the, uh, the vice president of sales and marketing for the company that owns the hotel just realized that I must be a big deal because I have my own, bo I have my own bobblehead doll. Uh, she came up to me and introduced herself to me and in you know, a completely charming, beautiful moment looked at me and said, so tell me what you do, I don't know who you are, which I thought was really nice, and I don't get that a lot in America, I don't get a lot in a lot of countries, and it's really, really nice. Um, the, uh, we have a lot of really cool things going on. I've, I've spread myself wide, and I think the most important thing that I can share with you guys about, like, you know, career-wise is that I'm pursuing everything digital uh, these days. Um, I'm throwing everything that I possibly can solely onto the digital. I mean, I, I don't think TV's going to exist 10 years from now. You're going to watch a box that you'll travel, you'll carry around with you everywhere, and all of the content you want will be on it. And it won't be called your computer or your TV or the internet. It's just going to be a thing, but you're, uh, I don't know what that is, and as soon as whoever monetizes it first, I guess, is going to name it. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, that's where I'm focusing all my attention. And so I'm doing really cool things that like anybody can do. One of the one of the cool projects that's starting now, and I, I brought a couple little reminder cards for people, and I'll I'll leave those on a table along with all the other goodies that you get. Um, but I thought I'd leave you with this really the coolest newest thing that I'm doing um, is this. Uh, besides the new season that they use in December, is a uh, a digital treasure hunt where we're targeting cities all around the country and we're starting with Minneapolis and Milwaukee because they're closest to me, because I don't like to travel when I'm home. Uh, we're doing this digital treasure hunt that takes two weeks and people solve clues and you gather clues and kind of like the Minnesota St. Paul Winter Carnival where you search for this medallion. There's actually be a physical race to the, to the winning prize, which the first one is an all expenses paid, including meals, hotel, car service, everything, to uh, Mexico which is really to lie on the beach, I think, for 10 days or a week. Um, and then I, the second one is a trip for a family of four to Disney World or something. I mean, like, really cool prizes. Um, but the reason that I'm doing it is that I just want to, I want to grow myself in that digital space. And I want to get as more, as many people excited about the things that excite me um, as I possibly can. And I think that's the secret, the secret to anyone's success, and certainly to mine, is just to be myself. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Um.